And here's another example of the kind of trouble we're in. Um, Biden was talking about a deportation freeze. He's going to freeze all deportations for 100 days. I don't, I don't know what exactly that's going to do. Uh, uh, but then this happened. There are going to be no deportations in the first 100 days of my campaign. Let me get that uh, right. You are mm-hmm. going to freeze deportations? Freeze deportations for the first 100 days. And then, mm. and only people will be deported are people who committed a felony while here. That's number one. That's number one. Okay, I lost that. Line. Yeah, well, it's, but that's Wait, good because we could we could talk you and I on that. Okay, uh, but but it's, <laughs> but but th- think about think about what, where what we just, are today. More than, Pause it. What what just happened there? I don't. Wait a minute. No, I lost that line. And like he's looking for his next line. Is he? So is this on a teleprompter? No, come on. No, he's in the same room, right? Yes, but the guy's helping him out. He's like, yeah, we uh, don't worry about that. We can, we can work on that later. Yeah, I caught that too. Watch that again. There's really an, there strange. An edit? There's an edit too. I'll watch this. There are going to be no deportations in the first 100 days of my campaign. Let me get that okay. right. You are going to freeze deportations? So he's looking freeze the deportations left. for the first 100 days. Wow. And, then, and only people will be deported Look are it. people who committed a felony while here. That's number one. Okay, and I, then okay, I lost that. Line. Yeah, well, it's, but that's good because we could we could talk you and I on that. Okay, uh, but but it's, <laughs> but, but th- th- think about the teleprompter. Think about where we are today. There were more than is to the left of the interviewer, I think. Yeah, there is a teleprompter there, and then he loses the line, and he tells us he lost the line. That is absolutely. So Incredible. that was set up ahead of time to say, yes, you're allowed to look here at the teleprompter. Yeah. And we will edit this so that it looks like you're looking at me. Exactly. But Joe Biden screws right. up in the middle of the interview and looks over at the guy yeah. interviewing he's, him. He's clearly looking to his left. Oh, And then my. he turns right to the interviewer. Oh, my. Is that something? That is something else. I mean, if that doesn't prove he's using a teleprompter to answer questions, I, I don't know And he's got what a does. complicit media that's letting him get exactly. away with it behind the scenes. Yeah, I don't know who this guy is, but he's obviously in on it. Oh. And then he tries to throw him a, a, a yeah. lifeline there by saying, hey, yeah, don't worry about that. Well, yeah. you and I can discuss that later. Yeah, well, discuss the teleprompter situation right now. How about that? Brutal. Oh, Amazing. I, I, I've never seen anything I haven't either. even Close to I, that. I don't think the world has seen anything close to this. Other than, oh, wow. There oh, it is. Oh, well, looky there. Nice job, Rob. <laughs> Look <laughs> at that. There, that. Right there. Oh, Rob. There's the teleprompter. I knew it. <laughs> we didn't know we had this picture. Thank you, Did Rob. Did not know about the picture. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, that's fantastic. Oh, come on. I- Look at that. And don't ever tell me that the media isn't biased. Shut up. I mean, look at it's four feet from him, and he still can't. I mean, he's still struggling. I don't know what happened to the line. He's got a terrible yeah, teleprompter let's find that uh, out, right? controller because what what happened to the line? You just screwed up your candidate again. Maybe they're trying to at this point. And if I don't you know. really love Joe Biden, far left media hack. Sit closer to the teleprompter so it looks like he's talking to you. Right. Oh, and he's on the other side of the room. It's crazy. What that the... is crazy. What is... Oh, God. I, you know, the only other time I think we've had something like this in American history was when Woodrow Wilson was in mm. a coma. Was after his stroke and he was incapacitated for two years and his wife was actually running the country. I mean, we thought it was bad when Obama showed up in a kindergarten classroom. And there was a teleprompter set up. Yeah. I mean, this guy can't do an interview. He can't. Without a teleprompter. How do they expect him to get through a debate? How? Unless they've got some cheat lined up with him where they're talking in his ear and telling him what to say. I don't know. That's the only way you could possibly do this. And I don't know that you get away with that. They've got to find a way out of the debate. And it's coming up next Tuesday. Mm-hmm. It's less than a week from now. Six days. They're, they're the first debate. He can't even do this interview with a friendly journalist without a teleprompter. Yeah, uh, Rob tells me it was Jose Diaz Balart. Uh, he is uh, an anchor. Jose Balart, yeah. Yeah, he uh, is. A, Telemundo. Yeah. Telemundo. Noticias Telemundo. Uh, Maria Telemundo. Exactly. <laughs> 
So, Maria. This is going to be... Boy, Tuesday night is much must I can't see wait. TV. I can't wait. Is that Tuesday night, right? Yeah, it's Tuesday night. Yep. I want to. See, I have to see this one more time because it's really stunning. I, it's so bad. Look at this. Joe Biden looking directly at a teleprompter. There are going to be no deportations in the first hundred days of my campaign. Let me get Pause it right. for a sec. You are going okay. to. <laughs> Did you now that you see him looking ex- directly to his left? Mm-hmm. And then when the guy asks him a question, he turns and looks at him. Joe, we talked about this. No Joe, matter what I say, right, you need to look. You look at the look- teleprompter to make it look like you're just looking at me. And oh. we'll, we'll take care of all of this in the edit. Just look at the teleprompter. <laughs> all right, go ahead. Campaign. Let me get that right. You are going to freeze deportations? Freeze deportations for the first 100 days. And the and only people will be deported are people who committed a felony yeah, while here. That was back that's to the teleprompter one. for the mm-hmm. answer. Okay, mm-hmm. I lost that line. Yeah, well, it's, but that's okay. good. Okay, I lost that line. line on that. Okay, okay. Uh, but, so... But it, all right, so he's not even with it enough to ignore that he... To know that he can't say, okay, I lost that line. But check that Joe, out. Joe, you can't say that. Check that out. Even the follow-up question was scripted. Right. This guy... Uh, Jose right. was in cahoots to right. the point where even the follow-up was absolutely incredible. Well, it's Telemundo, and he's pandering to him by t- talking about no deportations with the, within the first yeah, hundred yeah, yeah. days. All that aside, this guy is not with it. Oh, he's not. No, oh, no, he's completely checked out. He's checked out. In about, I don't know. It's got to be about fifty percent of the time now. He he doesn't. I don't know if he knows he's wearing pants. <laughs> right. Does, does he know he has a debate Tuesday night? Uh, what was it that Trump said about him? Uh, he doesn't know he's alive. Oh, yeah. Okay, this is actually a uh, well, well-delivered line by the president. I Please tell me you have it uh, in the magic box over there. I got it somewhere. I just don't know what but I I'm did But I'm telling you, man, a, a, a year ago, I said, what's he going to be like a year from now if he's their nominee? If, if this is what is going on with his brain, right. it's going to be ugly. I'm sorry. I honestly didn't see it as remotely this bad. It's pretty bad. It's, I think it's pretty bad. And this is what, I mean, it's a funny line, but it's true. Here's what Trump said the other day. By that campaign to blame you for deaths that result from this virus. Now, I have here uh, memos first, that went out in March. First, Mark Levin asks a big, long question, and then he answers that. Mm-hmm. But then at the very end is something very telling. Hold on a second. President. Hold on. Cut one. Go. In New York, (laughs) in Michigan, uh, in New Jersey, in other states, big population states, Mm -hmm. where the governors ordered coronavirus positive patients into nursing homes, into assisted living homes. You didn't order that. They ordered it. The last data I saw says over 40% of the deaths have resulted from that. Has Joe Biden criticized a single one of those governors? Has no. Joe Biden criticized that policy at all? Look, you know it, and I know it. Joe doesn't know he's alive. <laughs> Look, you know it, and I know it. Joe doesn't know he's alive. Wow. <laughs> it's, that's funny. That was and very well done. And it's true. <laughs> it's true. It's true. Yeah. Uh, it's sad, but true. But, you know, it's so far beyond sad because uh, the, the country is at stake. Right. The, the country is at stake, and we got a guy doing this all the time. I just spoke at, a, at Dartmouth on health care okay. at, at the medical, medical school. school. Or right. not, I That's, guess I wasn't no. actually on the campus, but the people from the medical school right there. Right. Oh. I, mm-hmm. I want to be clear. Be clear. I'm not going nuts. I'm not sure whether it's a medical school or where the hell I spoke, but it was in Guatemala, El Salvador, and and uh, with to, to, to win and say in Honduras and say, look, well, folks, I eliminate one tax loophole out mm-hmm. of a trillion six hundred billion worth. A trillion six hundred. A, a trillion four hundred billion. Four hundred billion. billion. Out of a, a billion, billion four hundred million. Million. I should mean, a trillion four hundred billion, billion dollars. It's hard to even say it. It's so much. Yeah. And by the way, it costs a lot of money. It costs about much? seven hundred and forty million billion dollars over ten years. Seven hundred forty Every- million billion trillion jillion dollars. Okay, so the number thing we've also noticed lately, right? He cannot, he cannot comprehend numbers, and that's why the other day he did the the COVID thing, uh, where he said this. The but they two- should be. It's estimated that. 200 million people have died 
probably by the time I hmm. finish this talk. 200. Wow, that's a lot of people. The, the complication of COVID-19. Keep talking. Yeah, like no lung kidding. scarring and heart damage oh. could become the right. next deniable pre-existing condition for over 6 million Billion trillion. Americans. Okay, so he had no he had no awareness that he said 200 million there. He didn't correct it. He, he just left it. 200 million have died from COVID when he's done this before. He's done it over and over and over again. This summer, he said 150 million have died from guns. Uh, and in the same speech, he also said 120 million people, not 200 million. I guess it's gone up 80 million since he said, said it in the summer. Mm. 120 million have died from COVID. He just can't keep numbers straight. 